clean drinking water, a natural resource we often take for granted near the Great Lakes. But Moses West knows a water crisis is quietly growing. Everybody knows we're running out of water. A problem the retired ranger spent the past four years working to eliminate. All the water that we need it, it exists right here in the air. He believed so strongly in that idea. In 2015, West invented an atmospheric water generator, or AWG, a machine that takes in air and turns it into drinking water. We're at the place now, I think, making 50, 100, 200, 250,000, a million gallons of water at an incredibly low energy consumption. I think cheap, cheaper than groundwater by far. Uh, cheaper than desalination. So far, 12 of these AWGs exist. West planted them in three areas, including the Bahamas, Puerto Rico, and Flint, Michigan. I need to engage with the people here, and I need to show them what, I, what this machine does, and they need to understand that it is their machine, and I am here for them. West says his AWGs are federally approved, and the water quality is also tested by the Colorado Water Authority. It's clean. It's, it's good enough to drink. No bacteria or anything in it. And the reason that we go through the filtration process so as soon as you turn it on, it, it starts making water. You may be wondering how these atmospheric generators are tied to Wisconsin. Most of West AWGs were manufactured right here in Manitowoc. And the people of Manitowoc should be proud. Just one unit provides a city with hundreds of gallons of clean water. The best part, it doesn't cost residents a penny. West works with organizations like the Water Rescue Foundation to cover the cost. So far, the response in the community has exceeded his expectations. And they were very happy that somebody actually cared enough for them to come to jump over the bureaucracy, come to a private piece of land and do this thing. Right now, his priority is planting these AWGs in Flint, helping our neighbors here in the Midwest. In Manitowoc, Michelle London, Spectrum News.